Hey, thanks for coming. All right, uh, a few years ago, I began to focus on something they used to call tendentious art or painting, which is what I do, uh, which is painting that pushes some kind of, uh, um, it's activist, it pushes some kind of ideas toward pushing some kind of change. That was the black ship. Uh, this is the ruined sea, again in that series, a, a woman walking down the uh, sand, talking to her child about what the hell happened to our oceans. And uh, um, this series was called the Barren Sea Series. And, uh, and then I also was working on a series at about the same time, uh, got handed a series by Duke Power. Uh, this was the Dan River and Yadkin River uh, coal ash spills. This one is the Watcher. The Watcher is from the Tarot. Uh, he's a historian or a, a witness to what's going on there. This is a kind of long view Yadkin River blues. It shows the Duke Power plant and a bunch of uh, coal ash sort of pollution going on downstream. This is uh, Dan River blues and it's sort of a, um, a close up view of the river bank and the river itself. Again. Uh, coal ash uh, situation. I realized I had a decent subject here when I couldn't find any images to work from. I, I thought, okay, I'm, I'm on to something. At about the same time, I was uh, working on a series on land. This is uh, the slaughterhouse. My, my wife was uh, getting into vegetarianism pretty seriously and sort of suggested that I do something. I entered this in a... Uh, um, a big regional landscape show and was rejected and I realized I'd achieved bothering somebody. This is uh, In the City, which I did from photos of Beijing, the, the sulfuric kind of yellow uh, haze, which hopefully won't be heading our, our way anytime soon. Um, this was uh, um, from the coal ash series again. I don't usually do drawings for paintings, but I was at work and uh, I had a pen and uh, I just wanted to get the composition started. So uh, uh, this was that. This is the painting. Uh, it's called The Pit. Um, and it shows uh, the pit and it also shows uh, some Duke Power employees kind of milling about uh, in a state of shock and awe, uh, kind of impotently. This uh, was, uh, I was at Carolina Beach uh, just for a beach trip and I got the chance to work with a, a really master printmaker. And uh, uh, this was from a memory of a um, Charlotte Observer uh, photo I had seen of someone's backyard. This is someone's backyard in the region, and I was just amazed to see it. Again, I just kind of walked past it at work. It was on the front page of the paper, and I was like, man, I can, that's a painting right there. And uh, so that's that backyard view. Years ago, I did a painting uh, of the Tower of Babel, which uh, has been done, but I did it from the inside out. and. Uh, um, in the Tower of Babel, people were striving endlessly, uh, struggling upward toward heaven. In this case, uh, this is mountaintop removal for coal mining, and we're digging down into the ground, um, destroying our environment for profit. Um, this is a similar view. This is called New Canyon, New Canyon, Old Mountain. Um, and then things started getting personal as, as I was working through these series. I realized that real change could only happen if we identified some of these people that were hiding out in their gated communities, respected by their peers. This is Sheldon Adelson, who's donated tons of money to Republican causes and has been talking recently about nuking uh, Iran. Not, uh, not a particular... Uh, place in Iran, but the, the whole damn country. This is Roger Ailes, uh, who um, 
we all know now from Fox News, which is kind of a tool to make people less smart about politics and international uh, events. This is a guy named Joe Ricketts who spent millions of dollars trying to link um, Obama to the divisive kind of rhetoric of Reverend Wright and uh, pointlessly and uselessly. Think of how, how that money could have been spent if it was used in a positive way. This was a uh, poster I put up around town at one point. Um, this is our own uh, Art Pope um, who has moved North Carolina back about 50 years in time um, thanks to reducing education funding and all kinds of protection of the environment and about everything else. This is Hugh Grant, the CEO of Monsanto. Looks like a fourth grade bully. Um, he's, he's monopolizing the world food, you know, market really pretty successfully. And, uh, um, and this is David Koch, who is another one of these uh, folks that I see as sort of part of the problem. Um, the less said about him, the better, probably except our, our entire uh, 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 political process is being undermined. Um, someone has to be the butcher is um, the name I came up with for um, a, uh, a billboard entry I put into the AS AC ASC, which uh, for some reason was rejected. But uh, <laughs> um, someone has to be the butcher was a, uh, a phrase used in Germany in the 1920s um, by someone who felt like the end justified the means. Thanks for listening. Yeah, I'm